Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Brendan Constantine from Calamity Joe, published by Red Hand Press in 2012. Uh, the poem I'm going to read is entitled The Horse Named Death. The man said what else could he name him? The beast had no color. Lethal white, it's called, because the things hardly live a whole day. But this one got up. He raised himself like a church and made for the dark of the barn, not a whiff to his mother. We didn't think she'd take to him, but she followed him back there and began to teach. You can tell a racehorse by his gait. This one could drag a tractor out to sea. Not that it mattered. Not like you could get a jock to go near him. A horse that could only race at night? A horse with red eyes? A homebred name for the end of times, not to mention the sport? It was worse than blasphemy. What could he do? The man asked us. What did God expect him to do? So the man races him against us. You're driving home by one of his fields. You can't avoid his fields, just trying to push aside enough night to get to bed, and the horse comes. He flashes up beside you like a bedside lamp, like a secret you thought was kept. Even if you don't stop to breathe into your hands, he passes you. If you speed up and curse him for every lie you ever told, he passes you. He passes you like you're falling the other way. That was A Horse Named Death um, from Calamity Joe, Brendan Constantine, Red Hand Press 2012. Um, if you enjoyed this poem and this reading, please do check out more, uh, well, check out the video for more, uh, the video description for more information about Brendan Constantine and about this book and where to purchase it, as well as more information about other projects and, and series I'm working on. I'm grateful for all of you for tuning in uh, once again to this, this channel and for participating in the chat in the comments below. See, I've been doing too much Twitch streaming lately. But anyways, um, I'm grateful for all of you and grateful for the uh, the enthusiasm you bring to poetry and literature, uh, for your joy in the spoken and written word, and for opportunities which we have through technology to share our passion, our love of literature with each other. So thank you for commenting. Thank you for sharing these videos on social media. Thank you for liking these videos and subscribing to the channel. Uh, thank you for all you do uh, to create uh, great poetry, great literature out there to inspire people like me to read it and celebrate it and share it uh, on our own platform. So if you are a writer, if you're a poet with a book out and uh, would like to be featured on the channel, please do reach out to me. Let me know um, and uh, feel free to, to contact me if you have books that you would like to be featured. I'll do my best to, to fit it into the schedule. Uh, I can't guarantee that uh, every book and every poem is going to be featured on this series, but I do read everything that comes my way and do my best to, to figure out where I can fit it into the schedule. So um, that's basically it for this episode. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series. And we'll be back every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday with more poetry and more reading. Um, and do check out Brendan Constantine. He is an absolutely fantastic poet from Los Angeles. Uh, one of the funniest and smartest people I know. Um, and a brilliant educator and workshop leader. Um, I've known him for years uh, from the time when I was in Los Angeles. And I highly recommend his work. So uh, please do check him out. And... Uh, Please do have a wonderful weekend if you're catching this on the Sunday. Or if you're catching this later, just know that uh, <laughs> I wish you all the best in your own creative writing pursuits. And whatever you're doing that's creative, may you find joy in it and may it find a way out into the world. Um, so until next time, stay safe and well. Keep reading, keep writing, keep building those bridges and building those communities. And uh, we'll be there. We'll be there waiting for you to celebrate your work. Um, and uh, until next time, stay, well, <laughs> until next time, keep writing, and we'll be back soon. Bye.